Calc Apex, I'm back and I'm with another video. As you can see, this is another custom um video. Um, this is not necessarily a fusion. I mean, it is an amalgamation of things from Breakout Beast, but some other parts that you, as you can probably notice from not not from Breakout Beast. Um, so we're doing more customs. Um, you will get another video or two this week. The other two videos will the, the video coming after this is going to be dealing with more transformer stuff. Um. It's going to be RC not part with the fucking line gear. Um, but yeah, you're gonna get, I'm going to try to do some more customs. Um, I will go ahead and say this. I'm 50-50 now if I decide if I'm going to actually get the um, wreckers and the fossilizers. I do know the, there's a few. I do know the combination is actually between the two of them. Or it's, it's going to be a different combination than... Um, the previous combination, seeing how the combination is, is actually already made, so we'll see about that. Um, there's a lot of Transformers figures in it coming out, and like I said, I didn't really care too much for the speedy trip, but there's some interesting ones. So you may or may not see me pick some up and do some reviews on them in the future. Um, uh, Mech Constructs, like I said, anything doing Mech Constructs, you'll probably just see me do more of just customs or builds and all that. Too bad I can't really show you any displays because, well, it's in our house. There. So, um, yeah, though, hopefully within a year or two you'll see that. Um, I will say this. I, I am thinking about purchasing a, X, a SH Monster Arts figure. And there's one that will be coming out. Um, the Mitsune figure. If y'all know Monster Hunter. If y'all know Monster Hunter Rise, you know what I'm talking about. If you know about, if you're actually a veteran, and I don't mean like war veteran, I mean game veteran, um, from the old Monster Hunter games, then you definitely know who Masuna is. Now, for y'all who seen my videos way before, y'all seen me, y'all know I got Revolted, Molten Tigress, and Silratos. Um, so here I'll be getting Masuna, depending on the price. But really, if, it's, if, if the price comes down, it's like 70 something. If they 50 through about 90, I think I'll go for it, especially with the price I'm already thinking. Um, plus, um, the way I see it, there's a big gap between the other, mo other monster figures. So, yeah, I'm, I originally, I did say I was originally planning to get Narakuga, but I didn't decide to get time because I didn't want to get a collectible figure when we were here. Because when we were out, we were not in the home. And y'all probably looking like, but what are you mind now? Because, well, the fact that Narakuga is not the second more expensive or the third most expensive one, or, not, he's not the most expensive, but he, he's spent more, than half the time he's more expensive than... Um, Zenogre, which surprises Zenogre is the cheapest one on eBay. Um, yeah, and I'm I'm not getting I'm not getting no, I, 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 don't, I don't like the monster that much. Anyway, yeah, but depending on what monsters are made, figures and prices, I you might see me. So y'all might see me actually get co true collectible figures in the future again. And I think when we do get back to the home or the house, I will eventually do a re-review of the Molten Tiger X and the Revolt Tech and Silver Rathos. I think because I got better cameras, so I can do a better review on them. Remind y'all about that. Anyway, let's focus on this. So, um, as you can, right, let me just back up a little bit. All right, as you can see, it has two of the standard Wolf Beast bodies. Um, it has a little flat piece and, and piece here. I don't know what pieces these are. You know, like a little ball joint thing you can grab and then this little flat piece. Um, it has like the talon feet. And then you got the back feet. And you got this little wolf tail. If y'all can't see, I'll bring it closer. You got that. Then it has, it's the little Xeno Claw hand. A horse body here, a deer body here. Little joints to try like, to make it close off here. A little dome here. And as you can tell, the spitter head with um, the head of the... What's gonna call it? Battle Cat. And when, with the head so closed in, I can actually put a flame for a tear. I didn't bring one in, in the room with me, and I'm not gonna go get it. I'm not, yeah, I can pause the, the video and go get it, but I'm not gonna do all that. So now we're gonna do articulation. And, okay, the recording... Recording be on that shenanigans when it be like, ooh, your battery light, like, if I, if it's past the battery charge, how am I, how am I running out of energy? <sighs> okay. 
Anyway, and then you got the leaf here for like the little pieces. Alright, so articulation wise, um, the head down, side to side, teeth doesn't do anything. And then you got the joints here. You got a claw here. And I guess you want to be like this has like a a extend state or like armored state and rage state if you do want to do muscle hunting. And these can extend. But you know, that's just more for other uh, reasons. Technically you can move this sideways and return like that, you know. Okay, then you got the joint here. Of course these can flip around and all that. You got this down here. And of course the leg here. Pretty much like all pretty much all breakup beasts normally have like even the little breakup beasts have like the same articulation technically. You got that tail. Alright, and then now let's do like a size comparison, I guess. Alright, so one let's get like a minifigure. And you can see height wise it does a tower over them. But you know, with it being a quadrupedal breakout beast, that's normally the case. You know the ones when they stand on their hind legs, which I will do that. And here's a a pure blood. That's why I call this the the default generic break of these. Let's get here, here. Um, tell you, if we disregard the wings, it kind of, this kind of actually sits higher than him <laughs> a little bit. Actually, okay, from my angle, it's actually a little taller, but it's like 50, 50 height. All right, and then if I were to um have it stand on his hind legs, which I gotta see if I can. I don't know if I can have it balanced and do that, but you know. Let's see. Let's see if I can actually. Okay, if I have the. Okay. Alright. So, we have it here in. Death. And then we have you here. Alright, look like a bigger creature. Even though I haven't seen him, he's still short. Okay. Yeah. So, y'all already know I'm going to be using spare breakout pieces. So, what I'm thinking spare pieces, I'll just use just to make whatever abomination I want to make while they're cybernetic. And just some creations. These, I'll just be using them, the spare bodies just to make stuff. The spare heads, too. And though I'll be, well, I will say this the spare heads for breakout pieces, I'll be mainly focused on using them for pieces. To refix or rejuvenize when I when the my average original beast jaws break, so you know you got that. But yeah, so like I say, but don't anything doing with mech constructs. Um, I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna really picking you up. I think I don't think I can really picking you up in this order. So um, yeah, I don't think you're gonna see me be picking up anything from Mecha unless you know they do could re continue or restart some similar. Or, of the most breakout beast, or you know they do something from like Gears of War, which I if get like I said if they do Gears of War stuff I will collect those. Um, I haven't seen it. Um, I think Evolve looks like it's popping back up, so I don't know. Does that mean people have have like someone got regard the 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 um the online thing and now it can bet back its full capacity? Someone has taken the rings, but it looks like it's popping back up. Which I'm still kind. Of, I'm still glad I didn't actually get the the game on PS4 because because I <laughs> wouldn't have been able to do nothing. Um. But yeah, but that but it, with that popping up, I am hoping that means that some more companies will actually try to do evolve figures. I do believe they deserve the sun and shine fine. So right, that's gonna be X8 Monster Art or NECA, though I doubt. I don't know. NECA might. NECA might. Thing is this, though. NECA is not going to be... They might be scale accurate. Oh, okay. I have to... I gotta, I gotta shut this thing. This thing's gonna turn off. Alright. Um, but yeah. You will be in another video. I'll talk more later. Um, actually, I'll discuss future plan ideas in maybe a phone video. Anyway, like, subscribe. You already know what it is. Let the chaos guide you.